Hey guys, the camera of the Addictive Fishing and Gone Catching Guide Service, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the many advantages of using the Minn Kota bow mount trolling motor systems linked with the iPilot for your salmon and steelhead fishermen in the Northwest, so stay tuned. Little fresh buckaroo there, bud. Nice fish. All right guys, so over the last couple of years of using the Minn Kota bow mount system, I have identified four different areas that I really have been able to take my salmon and steelhead angling to another level with the boat control that this trolling motor provides. So one of the best technologies used with these bow mount trolling motors is the spot lock system. That spot lock system allows me, even in current, to be able to hit one button, have the GPS unit that's located in the head of the motor hold me into that spot. The prop will spin 360 degrees and the motor will do everything that I can to hold me in that location where I told it to. And what that provides is an anchoring spot or a platform that where the boat's going to stay still, it's going to stay quiet, and I can cast at fish or I can do whatever. This works great for casting wigglers, for twitching, or even bobber fishing off the side of a run, whether I'm targeting salmon or steelhead. The spot lock system is the most silent quickest way to anchor your boat and hold your boat steady and it also adds a whole element of stealth that when you're moving down the run and you want to just quickly hold yourself a spot because you've identified a location where there could be some salmon or steelhead you could hit the spot lock slow the boat pitch at them do your thing and then move on without dropping a clunky anchor or trying to deal with the currents spinning you around it's an absolute great feature it's probably one of the most important features that i use on the system and within that spot lock system, guys, there's a feature called jog. And what that does is once I've dropped my motor and I've been sitting in my location where I have the motor and the boat spot locked, I can adjust in five foot increments whether I want the boat to be moved forward, to the side, or back by just using some of my dials on my iPilot system here. Why is that important? Well, if I'm anchored, or excuse me, if I'm spot locked in a location, and the fish have moved down or I want to be a little tighter this way or a little more in the seam line this way, all I have to do is hit a button, just like my right side button here, and it'll move me to the right five feet. The boat knows and understands its orientations from the hummingbird compass, so just by hitting the plus sign, the boat will creep forward five feet. If I hit it to the right twice, it'll move to the right ten feet. I can get myself in that exact position that I need to make the cast with my bobber and eggs, my drifting gear, my spinner, my spoon, whatever it may be, but being able to do that fine tuning adjustment with the spot lock system puts more salmon and steelhead in my boat. Now the second technique that I really use my bow mount system for guys is hover fishing. And what that is, is in the Northwest, we'll drop baits of eggs and we'll drop sand shrimp down straight under the boat and then slowly drift through deeper runs where basically Chinook and steelhead will like to lay. Now, if I'm using my gas engine, a lot of times I'm not going to find success hover fishing in holes that are about less than 15 feet deep just because of the noise that's associated with the gas engine. With the bow mount system, I can start at the top of the hole, spot lock, prepare my baits, drop them down, and then turn off the spot lock and slowly drift through the hole using the manual controls to figure out where I want to go. Also, one thing that every hover fisherman hates in the Northwest is a lot of wind because when the wind blows the bow over, you got to re-correct re with the gas engine. With the bow mount, I don't have to do any of that. I've got way more control hover fishing with the bow mount than I'll ever get out of a gas engine on the transom of my boat. Now the third instance where the bow mount system really helps is for all you guys out there that like the side drift or bobber dog baits going down the river. Now, you cast out your presentation and it's generally drifting the same speed as the boat. However, in real windy conditions or real kind of awkward currents, the bow, the bow of the boat loves to shift over one way or another and you got to correct with the transom. All you got to do with your bow mount system is as you're drifting down, once that bow starts to break free and instead of recorrecting it with your kicker engine, you hit the spot lock button. And even if the current is faster, than what the, the bow mount can keep up with, it will still pin you back straight in the current and then you can shut it off and let it slide down. What I find myself doing is going at the top of the run, starting to drift, and if the boat starts to carry, I'll hit the button real quick. The motor will, I try to identify, to, try to identify that spot that it wants to bring the bow back to. And what it'll do is it'll snap the boat back forward in the current and allow you to continue your drift as straight as you can get. 
All right, guys, the fourth technique that I use my bow mount a lot is trolling. Obviously, just trolling forward, but there's applications where when I use this versus my kicker, I find that I catch more fish. And a lot of times I find that in the lower stretches of these rivers, like in the tidal areas, the shallower flats that I'm trying to troll 360s or I'm trying to troll little wiggle warts or plugs or whatever it is. Just the stealth and the maneuverability that I get from my bow mount over a kicker engine when I'm trying to maneuver around stumps or trying to stay in that perfect little slot lane, it just cannot be beat. All right guys, I wanted this video to be about just where I find the advantages for the salmon and steelhead angler using the Minn Kota bow mount system. Um, you know, I've had this bow mount system for a couple of years now. I'm getting real comfortable and real familiar with it. However, there's probably a ton of other features that I really don't use this thing to its full potential. Um, like I said, I've only been using it a couple of years. There's another couple features like you have a true north button where basically if you're trolling with the engine, you can hit the button and it will keep you on that exact direct line. I actually use that a lot within my kokanee fishing, but there's applications where you're going to use that for salmon as well. All right, guys, now that I've talked about those four techniques that I use the Minn Kota bow mount system to my advantage, I'm actually going to go out here and try to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in this run right here. All right, guys, so we're going to talk about spot lock real quick. Obviously, I've got a pretty good current here, but by just pressing the spot lock button on my motor, the motor is going to remember where that GPS point was where I pinned it, and it's going to try to hold me right there in the current, giving me an opportunity to cast or do whatever I need to do in any of these runs. All right, guys, the other feature when I was talking about straightening yourself out in the current, so what I've done here is I've positioned my boat 90 degrees um, against the current on where I really want to be. I got my line going that way, but my boat's kind of out of control. It's a lot of wind, or I'm starting to learn and just starting to figure out this driving thing. I can hit my spot lock, and what will happen is you can see the motor behind me is identifying where that spot was, and watch. It's going to center it out right into the current. Let her go. It's whipping the boat around. And pretty much, once I get the nose straight, I can turn it off like I just did, and now I'm right back to fishing square to where my gear is at. All right, guys, so I kind of want to elaborate a little bit on that jog feature, too, because basically right back here, I know where I got my salmon sitting. I've dropped my bow mount. I'm kind of sneaking into position. I can use the bow mount over within the current. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over here, and I'm going to spot lock it, and I'm going to hold it in this spot. I can take my cast, I can do whatever I need to do, but let's just say that I'm a little bit farther off than where I exactly want to be. I'm going to let this guy center up here real quick, which it just did, so now it's holding me completely still in the current. But now I'm going to bump it over 10 feet. As you can see, the motor is going to shift it over. It's just going to slide me over a little bit and then re-correct me into the current. Let's say I want to drift back a few feet. I can hit the minus sign, and you'll notice that the bow mount will just shut off and let it drift back in the current. And it'll start picking up again, just like that. And I just shifted back 10 feet. It's an absolutely incredible system. And, it, and for those of you guys that like to coho, like cast plugs and twitch, or bobber fish even for that matter, I can't think of a more useful tool. All right guys, and for you hover fishermen out there, I've started at the top of the hole, I've spot locked the system, and I've dropped my gear down. So I've hit the bottom, I've come up my depth, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the spot lock and just drift slowly back through the hole. If I ever need to stop because I got a bite or I need to do a rebate or I kinda wanna hold over top of some fish that I'm seeing and I, or I'm identifying on my fish finder, I can hit my spot lock again and I can hold me there. If I got a little wind as well, I can also use the spot lock to adjust for that to keep my bow nice and straight in the current. And like I said guys, there is no better way to do this as stealthy or to do this with more control than with the bow mount system by Minn Kota. If you guys have found any other advantage of using the bow mount system when it comes to salmon and steelhead, give us a comment down below because I'd love to kind of like try it myself, let's be honest, but maybe we can do another couple tutorials kind of explaining that because this technology, getting into the Northwest, you know, we're always a little bit behind everybody else, but let's be honest, like using this stuff, it's, it's, it's almost like cheating, guys. I really stress, get an opportunity to go out with somebody that's got one of these bow mount systems by Minn Kota, and it'll blow your mind. 
If you guys like what you see here, as always, give us a subscribe, comment below with any of those other techniques that you got. We'll see you guys on the water.